Hey guys, what's up? I'm Arvata Karwa and in this video lecture, I'm going to talk about Louis L. Thruser and his famous theory of interpolation. I know that exams are approaching near and you guys are extremely tensed. Literary theory and criticism is one of the most tricky part of English literature. Uh, a lot of students face issues in understanding the key concepts and my aim in this lecture is to simplify the concepts and present to you in the most easiest manner. I've already made two videos in which I have discussed literary theory and criticism in brief. I've given you a kind of crash course in literary theory and criticism. I deal with these topics in detail in my online audio course in which I talk about more than 90 critics and theorists and we discussed each of these concepts in a detailed manner looking at the previous year questions simultaneously so that you can check whether you are able to apply the knowledge gained on the day of the exam. But in this particular video, I'm going to restrict myself and discuss the concept of interpolation given by Louis L. Thruser, the famous Marxist critic. Marxism is all about studying how ruling class dominates the society. And in order to dominate, ruling class is going to impose certain ideas on the people in such a manner that it appears to be true. It appears to be natural. Suppose I have five siblings and I am the eldest among the five siblings. Now, if I would like to dominate my siblings, what am I going to tell them? I'm going to say them that if you listen to me, you're always going to win in your life. Now, this is an idea which I'm trying to impose on the siblings. And this idea is for my benefit. I want to dominate them. That is why I'm imposing this idea to them. I might start telling them stories in which if the siblings did not listen to the elder sibling, they were facing issues. They were facing life problems. And it was the elder sibling who always safeguard themselves from these problems. So by telling them these stories, by constantly presenting them these ideas, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to impose certain ideas in such a way that gradually all my siblings are going to internalize it. They are going to feel as if the ideas that I'm saying, it's the absolute truth of the world. And this process is known as interpolation. A perfect example of interpolation is gender interpolation. We know that we live in a society where males dominate the country. Everywhere you'll find that males hamesha ek aisi position pe hai ki females unse niche hai. Now, what this masculine society has done? The patriarchal society has interpolated our certain ideas and we've started believing it to be true. From the childhood itself, you can see how a boy and girl are conditioned in a certain way. A boy is always given cars, machines to play with, whereas a girl is always given toys or you would uh, say dolls to play with. Girl is said to like pink color, whereas boy is always associated with blue color. If you look at the behavioral pattern, you will always see parents saying to a girl that you should be quiet, you are a girl, you need to be sensitive, you need to sacrifice because you are a girl. Whereas when it comes to a boy, the parents are going to tell him, you should not cry because you are a boy. Understand, these ideas, if you look today, appears to be very natural because the masculine or the patriarchal society has interpolated it in our culture so much so that we now accept these ideas to be true and these ideas are presented to us in such a manner that we start feeling as if these ideas are going to benefit us but if you look objectively, you'll understand that these ideas are actually serving the patriarchal society, the ruling class. Just tarike se girl ki conditioning hoti hai, usse bachpan se submissive banaya jata hai. Just se aage chalke, wo kabhi bhi ek male ke saamne khadi na ho sakhe. Similarly, a male is always taught to be independent, to 
take decisions to always be confident so that he'll never get suppressed by the pressure of a female this is a classic example of gender interpolation another great example of interpolation is what happened in the american society after world war second during the world war second Females had to come out of the home and they had to become the bread earners of the family because all the males they were either involved in the war or they were involved in some other administrative activities. So females had to go out and work for their families. Then World War II ended. All the males they came back to their home and now when they saw that these females are trying to go out and work they thought that this can be a dangerous situation for the patriarchal society because now these females are going to dominate us because they've started earning. So the mechanism of interpolation started. TV, magazines, books, everywhere, Americans started portraying females as homemakers. Newspaper ads presented that happy families have women who are aligned with the kitchen. They are always involved in the kitchen and only then a happy family can be made. So this interpolation process started and gradually females started believing as if they belong to the kitchen. And this is how the dominating class will always project the ideas to the society in such a way that the society is going to work according to the rules and terms of the dominating society. Although the theory of interpolation is from Marxism, yet it is very, very similar to what the post-colonial critic Edward said in his work Orientalism. In Orientalism, Edward Said said that Western people have always projected Eastern people in negative light. Western people always said to the Eastern people that you are savage, you are uncivilized, whereas they presented themselves to be educated and civilized. And this is how they started impacting the psyche of the Eastern people. If you remember the time when Britishers were there in India, you can clearly see how Britishers always projected themselves to be superior culturally superior, economically superior and gradually Indians started accepting that we guys are inferior, we need to mimic and copy the western people if we want ourselves to become civilized. And even after Britishers have gone from India, still we face the same issue. Today also because of interpolation, we try to copy the western people. This ideology that Western people are superior to the Eastern people is so much ingrained in our psychology that even today we feel as if only by copying the Western culture we will become civilized, we will become sophisticated. So interpolation is beautiful when it comes to understanding Marxism and how dominating society tries to capture the attention of the suppressed people. So now that I've given you a few examples after which you've understood the concept of interpolation, it's time to look at previous year papers and find out if we can solve few of the questions which were asked from this particular section. So there are a lot of other topics which you must cover when it comes to UGC net English preparation. You can go to my website and under the section called online course content you can check the list of writers which you must study if you are preparing for UGC net English. Apart from that don't forget to subscribe to this channel because I post videos every week to help UGC net aspirants in their preparation. If you like this video do give it a big fan thumbs up and also share it with other net aspirants. We are going to meet very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next. Happy learning. Keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarwar.com.